Oh my god, guys, I literally just recorded a video for you and um, didn't hit record. So, I guess we start again. Um, here we are at the salad table. Um, this is, we have salad growing elsewhere as well, but um, this is kind of the, the original location for the salad. Um, here we've got my mini greenhouse. It's a Saxon brand. So it's a mini greenhouse that came with its seed tray. So we'll just have a look in here. And as you can see, we've got some germination happening already. Some beautiful vegetables. It'll be nice and fresh for Christmas. So in this line here, in this back line here, we've got some beautiful red onions, which we'll transplant out when they're a little bit bigger. This line here, we've actually got a row of beans. So at the front, I've got some borlotti beans, which I'll be drying and using as dried beans. And then this bean variety is actually called Sex Without Strings. So I'm hoping it's going to be as exciting a bean variety as it sounds. Uh, we've also got some perpetual spinach up here. We've got two little things of that. The ones that haven't come up, they do actually have produce in them they just haven't germinated yet so um, we may not get any germination from here because as you can see these ones are quite big already and this has nothing so we'll see um, the we've got some red holy basil we've got some redlands cucumber which is an Australian variety of cucumber and that has obviously come up beautifully this one not so much We've got a mild Hungarian chilli, which I'm not too stressed about just yet that they haven't appeared because neither have the capsicums or the other chilli, so they might just be taking their time. Um, got two little tomatillo starts here, which I'm very excited about. Apparently you need two plants of those for them to make tomatillos, so hence we have two. And we've got a yin-yang bean um, in here as well, so hopefully they will come up shortly and we'll be able to show you some progress as we go and as with the point of the channel I'll be going through how to prepare these, how to eat them, why you should eat them and just to, you know, show you some really cool varieties that are out there. It's got a little tomato start happening here, he's got to go in the ground very shortly and some nice little cat grass coming in back for my cat. I've got here some of my first cos lettuces that I planted um, we've been really enjoying these. They are a really lovely variety. Very normal to what you get in the shops. Um, so these are probably the first foray into vegetables that I made. Um, and as you can see, we've just been picking from the bottom here to keep the plant nice and green. It's a trick I picked up from Charles Dowding. It's a fantastic little trick as well. And you can just you can just harvest by taking it off like that. Um, that white stuff that comes out of your lettuces is a normal. It's not poisonous. It's perfectly harmless. Um, it's just what makes the flavour of the lettuce. You may be able to hear they're very, very crunchy and quite delicious. So in here we've also got some red onions that have been planted direct. Hopefully they will be coming up into nice, beautiful, proper onions soon. I may have to thin them out a little bit, but I'm just going to let them grow for a little bit longer. Over the back here we've got some spring onions. I bought these at the same time as I bought the cos lettuces, so they're just a standard spring. But as you can see, they're starting to go to seed, and I'll be collecting those as they come up. We've just been harvesting these as a come and come, or cut and come again method. So basically you just tear off or snip off the amount that you need, um, let the rest keep growing. With these brown bits at the top, I just snip them off where they're brown and they'll just come back and keep growing green. Um, it's probably a testament to how often we should use them a bit more, um, that they have gone brown in so many places. Um, this is a Welsh onion, very similar to the spring, but uh, as you can see this has also gone to seed. This one's got five seed pods on it already, so we're going to have so many onions next year. Which is fine by me. We use them quite a lot. I love them. And in this pot we've also got some bok choys and some other Asian vegetables that I've planted. 
However, I've got some snails that have been coming through. So it's been the biggest issue this year in getting started. Snails, quite depressing really. And um, this one at the back here, as you can see, we've got these plants have just gone to seed and have grown ridiculously big. Um, these are red pak choys. I had some pak choy and some tatsu in here, but these are all um, pak choy, I believe, that have gone to seed here. So these will be um, collected once they're all dried out. As you can see, there's thousands and thousands of seeds in here. So we might not collect all of them, but we'll definitely be eating a lot of Asian vegetables next year. I think that's a given. So in here we've also got some little starts of some other Asian vegetables, but I found a evidence of a snail in here earlier, so who knows what that has been eating. Um, on the side here we've got some iceberg lettuces that are going to be red. I'm not sure if you can see that, red iceberg. So it's just one of the things that I like to do here is just um, plant in varieties that you don't normally see in the shops. Um, get some variety in our diet and try to encourage um, us to eat a much more various diet of um, plants. So that's all for today. This is just my, my lettuce table. And... Um, we shall be back again with another section of the garden. Alright, see ya, bye.